Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is good to us through all times, bad times and good. He is there for us. He even said he would be there even until the ends of the world. We need to put our trust and faith in him always. For Psalms 68 and 19 says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits. And then Psalms 103 and 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. That says all his benefits. And then Psalms 68 and 19 says, Daily loadeth us with his benefits. He is there for his children to take care of his children, to always be there for his children. If we just praise him and worship him, and yes, the Lord is good, always good. In today's text, we got Psalms 30 and chapter 1. We'll go there and read our text today. And in Psalms chapter 30 and verses 1, says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave, thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood? When I go down to the pit, shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today, God, to rejoice your name, to praise your holy name, Lord God, to always look for you. Lord, I pray that you touch this message, Lord, touch everyone out there today, God, that they would stay strong in these hard times, and God, that we can always uplift your name, go to you for the answers to our prayers, and Father, we worship you, we praise you, and in and, and your name, Jesus Christ, amen. And church, I, I particularly like that verses five that says, in his favor is life. In his favor is life. And how do you stay in his favor? Well, God is our father. And it's just like our earthly father and our earthly mother, our parents. They are, we are in their favor when we stay in contact with them. If we lose contact with them, they get a little upset with us. They call us, they fuss at us, they tell us, why haven't you called me lately? Well, that's how God is. If you stay in contact with him, then you can stay in his favor. That's what he is looking for. That is what he wants, to stay in contact with his children. And it says, in his favor is life. And weeping may endure for a night. We know that while we're here on this earth, we're going to have trouble. This just is just a part of life. Just like this pandemic that is going on right now, these sicknesses, it's just a part of life. We've got to endure through it. It's going to happen. we just got to keep God faithful in our hearts, and we got to stay faithful to him. And it says, with weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning, because God is there to supply his benefits upon us. It said daily benefits upon us, that we should not forget all his benefits. <coughs> And church, that is if we are in his favor. It says that there is life. And then you go on down. And it says, Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. And like I said, there's a lot of trouble on this earth. There's a lot of times that come in that's just so bad for us. It's just a part of life. But when we're down and out, whenever we're mourning and going through those troubles, God is capable to deliver us from them and turn our mourning into dancing, turn us into joy, to having pure joy into our lives. Glory to God, church. That's just a part of serving God, knowing that he is there for us always. 
there for us. He said, even until the ends of the world. And however you want to look at the sicknesses upon this land, to me, it's just a fulfillment of prophecies in the word of God. But however you want to look at these uh, sicknesses, I don't know when Jesus Christ is coming for his children. The word of God tells us that no man knoweth the hour, but we know that it is fulfilling the prophecies of his word. And it may be the end of time coming. I don't know, but I do know that I am ready to meet him coming in those clouds, Jesus Christ coming to receive me up with him. But we've got to stay strong in him and endure to the end for his benefits are daily for us. If we can turn to Psalms 106 and 5, that's 120, 126 and 5. Psalms 126 and 5, it says, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And I'll read you another verse here. It says in Matthew 5 and 4. Matthew 5 and 4 says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. What is that talking about? Is that talking that we need to be walking around in the molly grubs all the time and working around being sorrowful and be, being woe is me all the time? But no, that does not mean that. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. That's two separate verses there, and I've got one more uh, set of scripture over in John chapter 16. We'll read that. John chapter 16 and verses 20. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow because her hour is come, but as soon as she is delivered of child, she remembereth no more of the anguish for joy that the, a man is born into the world. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. Now, all that is saying here that God knows that while we are here on this earth, we're going to have travail. We're going to have sorrow. We're going to have trouble coming about us. Like I said, this is just a part of living. That's just a part of being in this world. He said, as long as you're in this world, you shall have tribulation. But the next part is what I like. He said, you shall have tribulation, but fear not, for I have overcome the world. That was Jesus Christ speaking there. He come and he lived the 33 and a half years to, in perfection. He lived it in perfection, and he knows how to make it through these troubles. He made you. He knows how to bring you through it, Lord. I praise the Lord God Almighty. And this is telling us that all we need to do is sow in tears and saying that we need to, when the time comes, when the sowing in tears come, when the hard times come, we go to him in prayer, we lift up our voices in praise, we call upon him, trust in him, put all our faith and trust in him and he will deliver us. That's what it is saying that when we sow in tears, when we call out to him, when troubles come, then it says that uh, he shall, we shall reap in joy. When the hard times come, when the hard times come, look to him. Put our faith and trust in him, for he is the one that is capable of bringing us through this. You know, if you're like me, sometimes when the hard times come, I like to uh, start out by figuring it out for myself. And the only thing I figure out is I can't do it for myself. I have to go to God. Whenever I finally come to my senses and realize that he's the one that's there for me and I turn over to him and give to him all my troubles, then he is the one that brings me out of it. And I love those set of scripture there when it compares uh, uh, the sorrow and, uh, about the woman is whenever she is in travail and has sorrow, whenever she is giving birth and going through these hard, painful times. And they say that is a pain that, that is beyond any pain that a man can be uh, uh, a part of, but whenever she is going through that pain, 
But the pain is all gone whenever she has that, that child. That child is born because she knows the joy of life has come into this world and all the pain is gone. For she starts rejoicing and having joy for the Lord. And yes, I know I've been there whenever my wife had my little girl and I know the pain does come back after a while. She starts realizing that the pain, but the joy of that child being born is just, it's just unremarkable. It's just but blessed, being blessed from having that child being born there that day and she forgets all the pain that she has because that beautiful child, that beautiful life is born into this world. I love it how God has brought that, that scripture out and that, that example out because whenever we go through these hard times and these troubles and the pain and sometimes we think, you know, we're never going to make it through it. Sometimes we think that these pains are so bad and like this sickness and being shut up in the house and these containments, will, we think that they're just so bad and it's never going to pass and we just kind of think that it's going to go on and on and on. But if we put our trust and faith in the Lord, he said he will deliver us. He will take care of us. And yes, he will bring the joy to us. If we can go on into scripture in Psalms chapter 9 verses 10, let's jump back to Psalms chapter 9. Psalms chapter 9 verses 10 says, it says, And they that know thy name, it's talking about God, will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Has not forsaken them that seek thee. And it says, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. It says he will not forsake us if we seek him. And if we know him and know his name, then he, then he will not forsake us. And in Psalms 34 and 22, it says, <clears throat> Psalms 34 and 22 says, The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them, none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. If we just put our trust and faith in him, <coughs> it says we shall not be desolate. He will take care of us. He will watch over us. And in Psalms 37 and 5, <coughs> commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. It's telling us right there that God's going to take care of us. God's going to watch over us. God's going to supply all of our need according to his riches and glory. He will supply all of our need but we're the ones that need to commit to him. We're the ones that need to turn it over to him. <coughs> we are the ones that need to put our trust and faith in him. And it says he will bring it to pass. And in Philippians chapter 4, I've got a couple more verses here today. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians 4 and 6 says, Be careful for nothing in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto the Lord, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Be careful for nothing. Worry about nothing. Don't sit and fret yourself about nothing. But it says, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. 
In this next verse, I like it. It says, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. How do we want peace? How do we, how do we get peace? It's by trusting God, believing in Him, putting our trust and faith in Him, letting Him have all of our troubles. Let Him take care of us. It says, don't worry about it. Be careful for nothing. Don't fret over these things and all this pandemic and sicknesses that's going about the land. Yeah, we need to use wisdom. Yeah, we need to maybe wash our hands and, and stay six feet away from people. We need, need to use a little bit of sense, but we don't need to fret about all of it, Lord, because the Lord will take care of us. He will watch over us. And like I've told many people, yeah, I may go through and be careful and, and, and do the... Uh, uh, washing my hands and staying six feet away and, and, and trying to use a little bit of sense in this thing. But if I get the sickness, then I get the sickness. It's just a part of life. But I put my trust and faith in God because he's the only one that can bring me through it. I hope that you're putting your trust and faith in him. I hope that you're leaning on him for all your answers. And if you're not, then it's just as easy as praying and accepting him into your life a lot of us fail a lot of us come short it said in the word of god every man fails every man comes short i come short daily i make mistakes daily but when i come to my senses and the lord reminds me i turn back to him ask for forgiveness put all my trust in him and let him have my sorrows we love you we praying for you. Hope you're praying for us. And remember, remember, bless the Lord and all his benefits. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits.